Welcome to the GAC Weekly. I'm Joey McWilliams. The Great American Conference basketball schedule is underway for 2018-2019, but there are still a few fall sports to talk about. This weekend, the Oklahoma Baptist women's cross-country team will be running in the Division II National Championship in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We'll tell you how they fared next week on the GAC Weekly. Also, there are three football teams that are still playing ball as we move into the month of December. On Saturday in the course of Cannibal, it will be Arkansas Monticello taking on Emporia State, and in the Live United Bowl, it's Southern Arkansas taking on Missouri Western. Also, we have a team in the playoffs as Washita continues its run. Undefeated are the Tigers right now, and they will be taking on Ferris State on Saturday in an NCAA Division II quarterfinal game. We have a chance today to speak with the head coach of the Washita Tigers, Coach Todd Knight. Coach, one win under the belt, at least in the second season now, as, as you all came away with a victory, taking down Indianapolis. And after a bye, how does it feel to get that first win under your belt? Well, it feels really good, you know, to, to be now, to be sitting in the quarterfinals is is really pretty amazing. And, uh, of course, we're going to play a team that we played last year in the second round. So, you know, we're excited about that. We know they've got a great football team. It'd take a lot from us to get it done. So, you know, that's what we're trying to do and trying to prepare to get that done. Coach, when you talk about that win one more time, not only what it means for your program but also for the conference as a whole, uh, the more wins start to add up for the GAC, and it, and it does to, to a lot, I think, to, to build the conference up uh, for the regional respect. I don't think there's any doubt about it. I mean, I, I really feel like, you know, uh, Henderson kind of got it started several years ago and and uh, got us in there and, and made a couple of rounds, did a great job. Harding has had a couple of, you know, good pushes too, and, and uh, we're, we're just excited about trying to do our part this year. And, to see, you know, take it one at a time and just see how far we can go. And, you know, I take a lot of pride in the great American and being a part of it. And, and um, you know, I just like this weekend, I I can't wait to see Southern Arkansas and UAM get it done. And uh, I think all those things go into to just making our conference better and giving us national exposure. And, again, I'm proud of the conference and I'm proud of the teams. And we've got, we've got great coaching staffs. We've got really good football. And I think – you know, all of our teams are starting to prove that on a national scene. Speaking now with Coach Todd Knight from Washita. Coach, conference championship this year off a conference championship last year, three in the last five years as a matter of fact. But when you look back on, on last year's team, pulling that off, you just pretty much swept through the league play this year. Did you know last year and, and you looked at the players that would be coming back, to, you might have thought, hey, listen, we can make a run at this again. Yeah, I mean, we had a lot of guys back, and we're still pretty young in a lot of ways, so we're excited about the future. But, you know, to say I, I feel like we definitely would win it, that's always the goal. But there's a lot of good football teams in our league, and I'm going to tell you what, anybody can beat anybody, and, and I'm going I'm to just say it right now, we're very fortunate. You know, we're very <laughs> fortunate to be sitting where we are and to get the breaks we got during the season. The ball bounced our way, and, and uh, you know, we, we know that uh, we got a great league and anybody could have beat us throughout that year. And, and uh, our guys prepared and practiced hard and got ready and we're, we're fortunate to be sitting where we are now. And, and again, we realize how good our league is. And I think, I think if you win our league, I think you're prepared. I really do. I think you're prepared to move through and move on. And, and uh, you play 11 straight conference games in the Great American Conference, I can tell you right now, you're battle scarred and you're tested. So, you know, uh, you got to give a lot of credit to the whole conference and to the teams that we play and the challenges that you see through the season with, with the, the great play that we have in our conference. Coach, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because it, it is very much a valid point, and I appreciate it coming from your perspective there from the season opener. And, of course, your season finale is perennially a tough game with the Battle of the Ravine. Is there anything that stands out to you that uh, you look at from uh, team play or individual play that you think this really is where we, you know, we, we turn the corner and we know we can take it to the next level? Well, I mean, you kind of go back through our season, and, and we were very fortunate in the, in the opener. You know, northwestern Oklahoma, we had a battle. Uh, southeastern Oklahoma, I mean, we're, we're sitting there. I mean, it, the game is back and forth, and – and they do such a good job. And I'll tell you what, we were very fortunate to get that one, the Harding game. I mean, it's a 7-3 to three game. We don't <laughs> score 
pretty much till the end. And I mean, I, I, you know, I'm the first to admit you got to stay healthy and you got to get some breaks along the way. And, and I, I felt like I felt like that's who we are. I mean, we we've had a couple ACLs and Achilles tear. You know, we've had three major injuries, but we hadn't had eight or ten. And I've been through seasons where. You, you have those kind of injuries, and, and some of our teams did. And, um, you know, when you stay healthy, you always have a, a chance to get through. But, man, there were some challenges all the way through. And then I look at the last three games this year with Southern Arkansas, UAM, and, and Henderson. We got some breaks there. I mean, UAM, we were very fortunate. We got on them early. But looking back, I mean, they, they those guys may have as good a football team as any of us. And then – Southern Arkansas is so athletic and such a good football team. And then, you know, Scott's done such a good job over at Henderson State, too. I mean, they, they can beat anybody as well. So to get through that last three weeks like we did, I mean, it is pretty amazing and uh, really prepared us for where we are now. And, Coach, you, you, you've done a fantastic job. Of course, your defense is, is the top defense in Division two, And you mentioned that Harding game. I, I thought it would be a close game, as, as you talked about, but that 7-3 score, I had to check two or three times to make sure that game wasn't still in progress. That was a final. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, we, we didn't mind. We, we would have been fine with three to nothing, whatever. <laughs> I mean, Harding's so tough, and they do such a good job, you know, with their defense, their offense, their special teams. I mean, that was a that was a big-time quality win for us to, to get that one, especially midseason that, you know, either team winning that game would have said, hey, the other team's probably headed forward. So, you know, that was a good good point in the season for us. And, and um, you know, last year the in, in 17, they beat us, you know, and I feel like that kind of prepared them to get them uh, going as well. So, again, just great competition in our league and, and very fortunate that we're in the league and, and play this schedule that we do. And, you know, looking back, the decision to, for everybody, 11 to, you know, all 12 teams, 11 straight conference games, you know, a lot of times as a coach, you sit there and gripe about it, but then when it's all over and you look back, I mean, if you can get through that thing and, and get in, you've got a, you got a great shot. So just a, just a great league that we play in. Coach, final question then, talking about the league as you have, let's go ahead and step outside because your quarterfinal matchup will be against a team, as you mentioned, that you have seen before and very recently. Talk about the matchup with Ferris State on Saturday. Well, it'll be a tough game. I mean, you know, we went up there last year and played in the cold, and, and we made some mistakes in the fourth quarter. And I think, you know, you know how it is when you – it's the first time you've been in the playoffs since 14 last year. I think our guys were just so excited about that and going on the road and all that. Uh, the, the, the team that we have this year is, is more focused, and, and we've got a little bit bigger goals. And, and uh, we're looking forward to the game. We realize that we would have to play – uh, next to perfect to beat them. They're one of the best teams in the nation. We realize that. They've got, uh, you know, great players on both sides of the ball. they got a lot of history in the last few years. I think their basketball team just won the national championship last year in Division Two. So, I mean, they're riding pretty high, and we, and we understand why. And we also understand that we'll have to bring our best, and um, hopefully we can prepare and, and bring our best on Saturday to have a chance. But, you're not going to beat those guys by making mistakes. We'll have to play pretty perfect. All right. Well, good luck to you this weekend. The Washita Tigers in the national quarterfinals for Division II football. Coach Todd Knight, thank you very much for taking time with us today on the GAC Weekly. You bet. Thank you. The GAC Weekly is presented by the Great American Conference. To see and hear more about the GAC and other college and high school sports, please visit oklahomasports.net and arkansasports.net.